laid back moods, sky above, sand below, good vibrations, feeling mellow. Chill, Tiff. Oh, I'm so excited that the rain has stopped. I'm trying to alert the surfers everywhere that it's time to hit the beach. Oh, yeah, like that really works. <laughs> See? It's clear at Zuma, too. Great. Let's hurry. I want to get a spot by the lifeguard tower. It's the best place to drown. You're planning to drown? You will, too, when you see the lifeguard. That's all you're bringing? Sure, everything else is there. Sun, sand, surf. What more do you need? Plenty. I'm bringing my Cosmo, my makeup, and my suntan lotion. <clears throat> a radio, a case of CDs, a cooler of mineral water, an umbrella, a folding chair, a portable cabana, some... What, no air conditioner? Ah, uh, it's in the shop. I'm roughing it. <laughs> Lorena, some people enjoy the beach as it is. I'm only bringing my surfboard. And all I'm bringing is my guitar. Oh, so you can practice on the beach? Yeah, practice getting girls. <laughs> yeah, well, while you reel them in with your music, I'm gonna watch their approach with these. And if I don't like what I see, bye-bye, Bufferilla. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, see, who needs guitars and binoculars when you got this? Okay. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Good news, Celia. Now, I got a towel with uh, room for two if you uh, catch my drift. Yeah, now you have room for you and your ego. <laughs> well, I'm not going. Let's go. Gross! You guys look like a trash heap. I know. We, we hit some floating junk in the water and wiped. Some government dude pulled us out. What government dude? Government dude Bob. <laughs> he told us. The municipal shore is closed due to a large amount of post-consumer waste and a high bacteria count. <laughs> like bacteria can count. Oh, no. The water's too polluted to swim in. Why do people throw their trash away? Well, they do, right into the ocean. Man, there's got to be something we can do. Well, let's go bronze our bods. <clears throat> Great! Aren't you guys listening? Our beach is polluted. You can't just ignore it. We're not ignoring it. We're just acting like nothing's wrong. Look, Sly, this is a big problem. We need to deal with it. Oh, come on. You're overreacting. I mean, the rain always washes a lot of trash and junk into the ocean. We just won't swim today. We'll stay on the sand. Fine, go ahead. But Tiff and I are going to stay and see what we can do to help. Yeah, but before we go, I better alert the other surfers about the pollution. Can I talk to you? Never, ever leave me asleep on the beach with her again. What's the big deal? A lot of people fall asleep on the beach. Yeah, but they usually don't wake up with their toenails polished. <laughs> hey, it was a new collar for me. I had to see how it looked, and I wasn't going to experiment on myself. <laughs> I'm experiment on myself. Oh, yeah. Nice shit. Good color. It's a masterpiece. Oh. You should have signed this one, Jake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, of course not. I don't have a... Ah! Where'd that come from? <laughs> I guess Jake used the old wait until she falls asleep and suck on her neck trick. <laughs> not that I actually done it. Look, it wasn't me, all right? Oh, you bet it wasn't. It's a sunburn. When I put on my sunblock, I must have missed a spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good 
good news, guys. We joined Save the Beach. Yeah, they're a really cool environmental group that goes around cleaning up the water. Yeah, and they told us there's a lot of things that we can do to help the environment. Like, don't throw your garbage into the sewers because it goes directly into the ocean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this Saturday, they're throwing a clean up the beach party. Ah, who cares about a bunch of whale huggers? Well, they asked us to do a gig for them. Shamu, who loves you, baby? How much? How much? Zero, Sly. We volunteered. Sly, the environment is something we should all... Whoa! Mondo Hickey! Guys, we're talking about the environment. Where are your priorities? Priorities? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about my priorities. Well, first, there's girls. Well, then, there's girls. Well, beneath that, there's girls. Well, way down below that is the environment that I meet girls in. <laughs> Like the circus. Ha, ha, ha. Try someplace nice like Paradise Cove. Good luck, they've closed Paradise Cove too. What? What is it? They can't close it. Paradise Cove is my favorite late night lip lock and window steaming make out spot. Well, if we don't do something soon, that won't be the only place that'll be closed. The world will be unlivable. They closed Paradise Cove. Man, that's terrible. Oh, this place is disgusting. It's nothing but garbage and stink and, and a mermaid. A mermaid? Please, it's merwoman. Well, what are you doing on land, Miss Merwoman? Since you humans polluted the ocean so badly, we can't live there anymore. Now my whole mer family is living downtown in a pool at the Y. <laughs> oh, come on, you're pulling my fin. <laughs> I mean, this water don't look so bad. Did you see what that fish just did to me? Being it, you feisty flounder! <laughs> you missed, didn't you? <laughs> what was it all about? Well, all of fish kind is pretty ticked off at humankind for ruining Paradise Cove. This? This is Paradise Cove? Sure. People still come here to make out. Uh-oh. That's a stage 99 smog alert. You better put on your gas mask. But, 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 but I don't have a gas mask. I don't have a gas mask. <laughs> It's another stage three smog alert today, and if you're heading to the beaches, don't bother. They're still polluted from Redondo to Paradise Cove. Oh. Oh. Has anybody seen Leverjet? Who? Jake and Lorena, they've been secretly dating since a hickey. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they keep it a secret? That's a girl thing. They go out with you, and then they say, let's keep this our little secret. I get it all the time. <laughs> so, tell me what's going on. First a hickey, then what? Does she get your leather jacket? Have you met the parental units? Hmm, hmm, hmm? No, no, no. Look, get this to your gossipy little skull. We are not going out. She's, she's not even my type. That's because I'm out of your league. <laughs> You're right, I quit little league a long time ago. Of course, a guy like you must have a hard time getting a first down. You can't get a first down in baseball. I can. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I can. Do you always have to have the last word? Yes. <laughs> Knock off that noise pollution. Tony, are you okay? You're panting. No, of course I'm panting. I ran to school. I'm not going to drive a smog spewing car that pollutes the air and burns a hole through the ozone layer. Mm -mm. Ozone layer? Since when are you so environmental? I had an undeniably terrifying, life-changing, end-of-the-world nightmare. So I went to the library and I got this book on how we can save the planet. Oh, we got to act now. Sly, are you nuts? Recycle this can. Is that polystyrene foam? You never use polystyrene foam. <laughs> and Lorena! Uh-oh. No more aerosol. Are you trying to kill us all? I suggest you buy the pump, okay? Where are you going now? Go well, to the parking lot. I'm gonna find everybody who didn't carpool and I'm gonna let the air out of their tires. 
Oh, Sly. Don't book any Saturday gigs. Why not? Well, I booked us to play charity gigs every Saturday for all the environmental groups. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Free gigs. I'll kill you! <laughs> it would bother me if I think that saving the planet should win over profits. Hello, Celia. And obviously not over Celia. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta I got stop her. She's about to use a napkin. Oh, no. A napkin. <laughs> Let's see, I'm serious. Those things are made with bleach that's lethal to the environment. Holy. If you go over there talking like a nutcase, it'll be lethal to your love life. Do you want some advice? Oh, this should be good. Jake Summers, Guide to Romance. Remember, club her over the head first, then drag her back to your cave. <laughs> <laughs> Look, forget this environment bunk. Just go over to her like this. Take her hands, look her in the eyes, tell her how beautiful she is. And how whenever she's near you, your heart starts pounding and you, you feel like you're gonna go crazy. Works every time. I don't believe it. Tony has marked every can, recycle or die. Oh, come on, Mark, he's got the right idea. Recycling is important. He cut the power cords to our amps. He's dead meat! Where's Wicks? What did he do now? That eco nutcase tagged my leather jacket. <gasps> I'm going to hurt him. Wait a minute. I'm as mad at Tony as you guys, but violence never solves anything. There's got to be another way. Jake, it worked! I got my date with Celia. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna pick her up with a limo and then buy her a delicious steak dinner and then maybe a little dance, and I? <laughs> Gee, Tony, uh, that date doesn't sound very environmentally conscious to me. Limos eat a lot of gas, and uh, is that steak dinner really worth hurting the rainforest? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, do you remember? Goodbye, world. Oh, man, I know you guys are right, but I gotta impress you, so what am I supposed to do? Don't worry, we'll help. <laughs> you just relax and we'll plan an environmentally correct date that Celia will never forget. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys will do that for me. Hey, after all you've done to us. We're almost done. Jake and Lorena, you guys set up the candles and the rest of us will finish the food. Now you two behave. No more hickeys while we're gone. Unless she falls asleep. <laughs> so I guess this is pretty cheesy by your standards, huh? I mean, you've probably never been on a date that didn't cost a guy ten grand. You think you've got me all figured out, don't you? Like I'm some snob who won't give a poor guy a chance. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, you're wrong. Last summer, I met this boy who worked part-time fixing cars. He wanted to ask me out, but he didn't have enough money, so uh, he was nervous. I tried to help him relax, so I uh, rubbed his shoulder. I ran my fingers through his hair. I wanted him to feel completely comfortable with me. So, uh, what happened on the date? Nothing. I didn't go out with him. He was broke. <laughs> They're here. Everybody get ready. <laughs> that bicycle ride was so romantic. I thought you were going to do something cocky, like pick me up in a limo. No, oh, me? Limo? <laughs> no, I hate limos. See, I'm an earth-loving whale hugger. But I prefer to be a Celia hugger. Table's right this way. On the floor? On the floor? Tony said we shouldn't use furniture. It's a waste of trees. Is that true? You like it this way? Um, uh, 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 sure, sure. Uh, it's environmental. Uh, allow me. Here you are, Tony. All organically grown. Seaweed, algae, and bean curd. And for dessert, assorted fungi. <laughs> Ugh. Tony, this is disgusting. We have to eat this? Well, you know, it's like I always say, uh, uh, be bold, uh, eat mold. <laughs> no, no, I mean it. Let's see. 
Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some water. Give me some water. No problem. <laughs> oh, I almost just handed you a polystyrene cup. Guys, did you see that? I almost just handed him a polystyrene oh. cup. Oh, these things are terrible for the environment. No, 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 that's okay. Give me that, okay? No, Give no, it to me, all right? No. <laughs> that does it. I am willing to help the environment, but not if I have to sit here with an ecomaniac. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Look, this has been miserable for me too, okay? In fact, I can't imagine anything worse. Is that a leather belt? Oh no. Cow killer. Please, no. Please, no. Oh! Are you? No, I guess I had it coming. But I don't get it. How do you stay environmentally correct and still have decent dates? Well, how do you guys do it? We're, We're not, not dating! dating. <laughs> Look, Tony, maybe you don't have to give up everything to save the world. Yeah, we just need to be more aware of how the things we do affect the planet. Like, remember to turn off the lights and take shorter showers. We could drive less and ride bicycles more. Yeah, and instead of playing a million charity gigs, how about none? <laughs> Maybe just one? OK, I get it. You can't save the world by yourself, but if everybody pitches in, it'll be a good start. <laughs> oh, there's just one more thing that I still need to know. What's that? Who has my belt? <laughs> hey. Hi. You're volunteering? Yeah, why? You didn't think I would? No, no, I, I think it's cool. Oh, thanks. Hey, is that a sports jacket? <laughs> yeah, it looks stupid, huh? No, you look nice. Oh, thanks. You too. Hey, we better not stand together too long or Sam might start sending out wedding invitations. No kidding, it's so ridiculous. What is? The idea of us being a couple, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, completely. Hey, your hickey's peeling. Huh? <laughs> it's peeling. I guess it was a sunburn after all. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess it was. Sorry, guys. I was pretty obnoxious. I mean, what a stupid idea. You guys would make a terrible couple. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we got these whale huggers right where we want them. It's a perfect time to negotiate some bucks for this gig. Get it, Sly. This one's on us. Welcome to Bear Ice Cove, everybody. Woo! Yeah! Now, we are the California Dreams, and we are proud to do our bit for Mother Earth, so we expect you to do yours. OK, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah. 